joy of joys it's the cappuccino handicap it's another low grade not to 80 long distance race two and a half miles two mile four and a half furlongs in fact strawberry miss paul parsons maundy thursday nick driver velvet monkey james shea crop duster paul parsons prize princess for nick driver santa brody james shea mumbles pierre alex cherry and spinning mcgarry for jamie hopkins eight of them in this marathon race they're away and racing this should be on day three, Gray. Thought it out. <laughs> Spinning McGarry and Crop Duster are the first two to show. Strawberry Mist and Velvet Monkey. And Cappuccino had to go. Didn't Cappuccino win the Grand National a few seasons ago? So why has he got a flat race named after him? If he did, or did he win the Gold Cup? I can't remember. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he won the Grand National. And Crop Duster is the winner. I think he may also be the horse that should have won two Grand Nationals, but the race had to be voided and rerun because the wrong weights were put on or something. It had to be redone. Anyway, Crop Duster's in the lead. There's probably only a few of us know about that because we had to have a little meeting and decided to rerun the race because all the horses had gone in at the wrong weights. Well, one of them had gone in at the wrong weights. I can't remember what it was, but something happened anyway. Anyway, I want somebody to talk about while this is going on. It's the cappuccino handicap and you're not trying to go make yourself a cappuccino while you're waiting for this race to finish you've probably got time to go to the shops buy all the ingredients come back make it sit down drink it wash the cup up afterwards and by that time we'll probably be just about into the final two furlongs but it's crop duster who leads 15 furlongs still to go and crop duster is the leader from prize princess in second and Strawberry Mist and Maundy Thursday. The one who's tailing off at the moment is Mumbles Pier, so that either needs a four mile flat race or there's something wrong with it. Uh, it's Crop Duster who's in the lead. Velvet Monkey is in second. And Strawberry Mist. Oh, well, this is what it must be like if you comment out on a marathon in athletics. I've never thought about that before. They don't often show the whole thing, do they? They don't think you cut him back to it. The bloke has to commentate on the Olympics in the marathon. He must get bored stiff. Never really watched it. Some bloke about 300 yards in the lead all the way around. A bit like this, really. It's crop duster in front. On Maundy Thursday in second. And then Velvet Monkey's in third. Maundy Thursday should have been a jumper. If Maundy Thursday would have been a jumper, he could have run on Boxing Day and we could have then asked the question, when did Maundy Thursday fall on Boxing Day? That would have confused a few people. You can't actually do that with a horse called April the 7th. I think it was April the 7th or April the 6th. I think it was April the 7th. He fell in the King George in about 1970-something. The question I used to get people on, going back to front there, when did April the 7th fall on Boxing Day? It should be, when did Boxing Day fall on April the 7th? So that should have given it away, but never, nobody ever gets it. I just get looked at like I'm a weirdo. That happens quite a lot anyway. Crop Duster's the leader. From Strawberry Mist in second. It's a Paul Parsons 1 2 at the moment. Nick Driver's got two in it as well. So's James Shea. Jamie Hopkins is spinning, but Gary's been left at the back, and poor old Alex Cherry's Mumbles Pier is. Further out than Brighton Pier at the minute, but it's Crop Duster in the lead. From Strawberry Mist in second. Santa Brody is third. And then Maundy Thursday is fourth. The Velvet Monkey Mum Mumbles Pier has been pulled up now. There's just about four furlongs or so still to go. Get back from the shop making that cappuccino. It's Crop Duster in the lead. Hot for cappuccino today, though. Pretty warm today. It's supposed to be bad weather, but it's okay. It's a rarity for me being able to do a bit of a commentating in the afternoon. I normally have to do it in the middle of the night. A few cancellations today, so I've got these in while I could. Anyway, Crop Dust is in the lead. We've got two and a half furlongs to go. Strawberry Mist is in second. Maudie Thursday's third. Santa Brody fourth. And then Velvet Monkey. Racing down towards the final furlong and a half, and I don't think anything's got within three or four lengths of crop dust since the start. Strawberry missed his back in second. We could get a race now because Velvet Monkeys are James Shales, and they finished an absolute 
rockets don't they but this one's not going to catch crop duster crop duster's got this one well and truly sewn up and the low flying crop duster takes it from strawberry mist velvet monkey morning thursday santa Brody, prize princess and spinny mcgarry that wasn't quite as painful as i expected Crime, crime duster, crop duster. Not crime buster, crop duster. Crop duster takes it for Paul Parsons, who was second with Strawberry Mist as well. Velvet Monkey third for James Shea. Morning Thursday for Nick Drive was fourth, and Santa Brody for James Shea was fifth.